Great Scott! Oh, this is heavy. <laughs> Welcome! I am Emir, and let us travel back through time. <laughs> I don't have a Back to the Future shirt. Uh, you'll know why later. But, you know, I had to get something, an appropriate shirt, uh, a throwback shirt for this review. So, I decided to just uh, wear this Super Mario shirt. Uh, I think it works. The first Super Mario Brothers game came out in 1985, so did the first Back to the Future film. And Super Mario Brothers 3, which appears on this shirt, was released in 1990, the same year as the third Back to the Future film. I love Back to the Future. No, not the film with that title, which I call Part 1, but the trilogy as a whole. Does this mean that I don't at least like the first movie? You'll hear my thoughts about it soon. Now that I finally have this review show, I finally have an outlet to talk about these movies. Personal story first. Unlike others who have reviewed the trilogy already, I did not grow up with them. I only watched these films almost 10 years ago when I entered college. My god, has it been that long? There is this quote from part 1. If you put your mind to it, you can accomplish anything. My sister placed it in a video she made for me as a college graduation gift that was in June 2015. Back to the Future Day, October 21st, 2015, the date Marty and Doc traveled to at the start of Part 2 has since come and gone. And how did I celebrate? By studying for family law, most probably. Five years later, and we still got no flying cars, self-drying jackets, nor hoverboards. That's not a hoverboard. You know what else doesn't exist? The cafe 80s. I'm surprised. Because 80s nostalgia has been big for a long time now. It just won't die like the real 80s. Even the worst product of the decade has already made a comeback. I still wonder. What does New Coke taste like? At least I know what 60 years of Pepsi tastes like. Also, it's been 10 years. But I still don't have a Back to the Future shirt. The last time I saw one was 5 years ago. A classmate told me she got it from a Uniqlo. <sighs> I'm not spending that much money for a shirt. Oh well. And then that shirt and that classmate were erased from existence. Enough about me. Never mind that now. Never mind that now. Here's a summary of the three Back to the Future movies. First movie. Marty McFly accidentally travels to the past using Doc's time machine and interferes with his parents' love at first sight moment. He must therefore make sure that his mom and dad fall in love. His life depends on it. Second movie. Ah! Ah! Third movie. Marty and Doc must get out of the Wild West before either of them get shot by Buford Mad Dog Tannen, the great-grandfather of, well, this trilogy's quote-unquote Trump. Also, Doc falls in love. A lot of those who talked about Part 3 said that they hated it when they were young. One, because it was a western. And two, because of Clara Clayton, Doc's love interest. They only learned to like the movie later when they rewatched it after growing older. Meanwhile, my sister hates Clara. She hates, 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 hates Clara. She calls Clara a Mary Sue. She's not Mary Sue. She's Mary Steenburgen. He, 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 he. Anyway, as for me, I kept rewatching part 3 when I first watched the trilogy in my first year of college. Out of all three movies, I liked the third movie the most. I didn't mind that it was a western. In fact, I loved part 3. The reason is simple. It's a love story between Doc and Clara. I think I saw myself in Doc. I may not be a scientist who built a time machine out of a DeLorean. I was burned out from science in high school. But hey, I still like science. I watch Curious Droid and Kursgesag. But like Doc, I'm a weird loner. So 
Seeing him in part 3 gave me hope. If Doc could find someone that he would love and would love him in return, then I would too. Hehehehe. <laughs> oh boy. I also love part 3's score. Part 1's theme, which part 2 also used, is repetitive for me. Part 3's meanwhile isn't. Rather, it embraces wonder, adventure, sentimentality, love, sadness, before ending with parts 1 and 2's theme. After part 3, I like second movie. I enjoyed the suspense as Marty and Doc try to avoid their past selves in 1955 while getting the almanac from Biff. The almanac, which was from 2015, allowed Biff to build his gambling empire and be like you-know-who in an alternate 1985. I also like the hoverboard and the dehydrated pizza. To be clear, I'm talking about the skateboard without wheels, not whatever the hell this is. It doesn't even hover. As for the dehydrated pizza, I wonder if I can shove it in my mouth. Don't you be a smart ass. I like part one the least. It's because I cringe at the thought of my mom falling in love with me. Ugh. No. Just no. Also, is it just me? Or does part one have a slower pace compared to the sequels? At least that's what I recall. But the mind is a fickle thing. I can be wrong. This slower pace doesn't help me appreciate part one. I also don't like part one's Huey Lewis and the News, The Power of Love. For me, it's a good song in itself. But in the context of part one, it does not make sense. Don't need money. Don't need fame. Don't need no credit card to ride this train. It's strong and it's sudden and it's cruel sometimes. But it just might save your life. That's the power of love. What do any of these have to do with anything? I like Double Back by ZZ Top from part 3 because it at least relates to the story of the third movie. Looking high and low, don't know where to go. I got to double back my friend. The only way to find what I left behind. I got to double back again. Double back again. Turu, 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 turu. Poetic yet the connection is there. Marty has to go back to save Doc. I like Huey Lewis and the News back in time more than double back. It's not hard to see why. Tell me doctor. Where are we going this time? Is this the 50s or 1999? All I wanted to do is play my guitar and sing. Are those all the songs from the trilogy? Hmm. Well, there's a cover of the Penguins, Earth Angel, by Marvin Berry and the Starlighters. I prefer the original. And if you've watched my videos before, you can easily figure out why. If not, Please check them out after this one. Thanks. That's all the songs, right? All the non-score music. Okay, are we good? Why do I feel like I'm forgetting something? Hmm. Nah, couldn't be. Maybe it's the Mandela effect again. Alright, let's move on. I'd like to rewatch all three movies and see if my opinions have changed. Maybe I like part one more now, like most people. Maybe I like the power of love now. Maybe I'll be bored by part 2. Maybe I'll find part 3 cheesy. The time is also right, since the first movie will be celebrating its 35th anniversary soon. The third movie will be marking its 30th anniversary. And the second movie just reached its 30th anniversary. I will be watching these films in reverse. Because why not? Really, it's because I'm not too excited about watching part 1 again. So my review of part 3 comes first followed by part 2, and last is part 1's. In my reviews, I'll talk about these movies as standalone stories. I think you can watch any of these films without watching the others. For fans like me, I'll include a place in each review for running gags and trivia. I'll tie all three films together at the end of my review of part 1, or on a separate video after that. Have you seen Back to the Future? Or at least any of the movies? What are your memories with these films? What do you think of them? Who is your favorite character? What is your favorite scene? What is your favorite song? Do you think time travel will ever be possible? If yes, where? Uh, when? Would you go and why? Feel free to comment below. 
I am curious to find out what you have to say. Please like, share, subscribe, and ring the bell to be notified instantly once my Back to the Future videos and other episodes of In Hindsight slash Balik Tanaw come out. Thanks for watching. Now, please excuse me. I have to go 88 miles per hour. So take me away. I don't mind. But you better promise me I'll be back in time. Gotta get back in time. Gotta get back in time. Gotta get back in time. Tell me, doctor, where are we going this time? Is this the 50s? Oh, 1999, all I wanted to do is play my guitar and sing. So take me away, I don't mind, but you better promise me I'll be back in time. My God, has it been that long? Things have certainly changed around here. I remember when this was all farmland, as far as the eye could see. Old man Peabody owned all of this. He had this crazy idea of breeding pine trees. The first Super Mario Brothers game came out in 1950. Self. What does New Coke taste? Uh, at least I know what 60 years of Pepsi tastes like. Wait a minute. 1950s. 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 2010s. Yeah, 60. Kasi ko hapasok lang naman ng 2020. At least I know what you... The last one... I thought...